guys. Nice job with that strength. Hopefully you kind of enjoyed switching it up a little bit. Um, I know those uh, good mornings usually get my hamstrings pretty good, kind of like those single leg deadlifts do. Um, so hopefully your hamstrings are feeling like they got some good work in uh, today. But let's start talking about the workout. So the workout for today, kind of this like classic CrossFit rep scheme of 50, 40, 30, 20, 10. So you go through 50 of all the movement, you go through 40 of each movement, 30, 20, 10, um, until you're done. So we'll give you plenty of time on the clock to kind of get through this one and sort of just move through it. Um, and then the four movements for today are going to be push-ups, sit-ups, sumo deadlift high pulls with your dumbbell, and then some plank-ups. So all four of these movements we should have a little bit of experience in, at least in the, uh, in the past couple weeks. Um, but we'll go through them really quick in a moment. Um, and then anytime you kind of see a workout like this, it's mostly body weight, it's pretty high rep, um, it's always good to sort of have a backup plan. So looking at this workout for me, I know that that's going to be quite a lot of push-ups uh, for me to get through, so I might have sort of a plan B ready, whether that's a band that I can throw on or I could just elevate myself on a chair or something. Um, but definitely having a plan B for those, it's, it's a lot of push-ups. <laughs> um, and then the same thing with these plank-ups. So last time we did these in a strength, I remember taking the, uh, the virtual workout and I kept looking at the screen to see if other people were resting because I was just feeling smoked. So um, we'll practice a few before you get going, but these are pretty challenging too. So kind of have like a plan in mind for how you want to break those up. Maybe you want to do set to 10, 15 or something like that and take some quick breaks in the middle of those. Um, but then those sit-ups, hopefully we can move through pretty well and same with those single arm sumo deadlift high pulls. So let's go through those four movements and we'll get you right into your workout right, for so today. starting with a few RX push-ups just to kind of show you the tracking of the elbows chest all the way to the ground and then all the way back up and trying to keep that nice tight flat body throughout. So what I'm looking for here, right, is not warming your way up, but rather trying to keep everything nice and tight and straight across all the way down and all the way up. Um, and then just going through a couple scaling options for your push-up. So if you have a monster band or even if you have a resistance band that you can double up, those make for a great way to kind of scale your push-ups a little bit. Um, and then if you don't have a band, but you do have a chair or a box or even a couch, then you can always just elevate yourself a little bit. So again, coming down to my chest and then pushing all the way back up using my chair. Um, and then we're going to go to some sit-ups. So I don't have an ab mat at my apartment, um, but just a towel or something soft works great. Um, and touching behind my head and then touching my toes in the front and doing my best to keep my hips down every time. So rather than when I go back, kind of letting my hips come up in the air, just trying to keep them glued down to the ground. Then we'll go to this single arm sumo deadlift high pull. So starting with a little bit of a wider stance, dumbbell in between my feet. I'm gonna come up just like I would, like a dumbbell snatch or a kettlebell swing, squeeze my butt, squeeze my hips, and kind of use it to get that dumbbell up high. So elbows coming up nice and high, dumbbells ending up right below my chin. Um, and trying to keep that dumbbell really close to my body. So think a barbell snatch, a barbell clean, trying to keep it nice and close. Then we're going to go to these plank ups. So starting in a push up, going down to your elbows, coming back up, trying to keep everything nice and uh, flat from the top. So trying not to sway my hips back and forth too much. Um, and then just kind of showing you a quick way to scale these. So if you go down to your knees, but try to keep your body as flat as you can, just takes a little bit of that weight off. It makes them a touch easier. So let's get ready for this workout. So what you'll need to grab is anything for your push-ups that you might need. So a band, a box, a chair, um, if you need it for those. For your sit-ups, if you want to grab a towel or if you have an ab mat at home, that's great. You'll need a dumbbell for those single arm sumo deadlift high pulls. And then your plank ups, you should be good to go. Um, but let's run through those four movements. So we'll do two rounds of five reps each just to kind of get everything warmed up and ready to go. And then we'll get you started.